What's good, YouTube? This is Austin Sweet here, and you're watching The Sweet Life of Dakota and Austin. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And once again, yes, I am flying solo for an episode of Wrestling Talk. I will have my brother on here soon. Don't worry. Anyways, I want to welcome you guys to episode 21 of Wrestling Talk. I can't believe it. We're hot off the heels of the 20th episode of Wrestling Talk, and here we are, episode 21. We're exactly nine episodes away from the 30th episode. Anyways... Today, we are talking about, today on Wrestling Talk, we're talking about the Ultimate Warrior. That's right, we are doing, or I'm doing Ultimate Warrior. We're going to be talking about the Ultimate Warrior today. Now, for those of you who don't know who Ultimate Warrior is, he was, his real name was Jim Helwig before he legit changed it to Warrior. He first started out um, on the independent scene when he teamed with Sting to form the Blade Runners. Yes, they and they actually turned heel and were portrayed as the Blade Runners. Then, after the tag team dissolved, he would go on as a solo competitor and he would start out in WCCW, not to be confused with WCW. He would first start in WCCW as the Dingo Warrior. He would feud with then WCWA champion Ravishing Rick Rude. Then he would turn babyface and fizzle out from his management and he would go on just to be a babyface. So then he would then go to the WWF, get a major push first off as the ultimate warrior. And here's the shocking thing. He never turned bad during his WWF run. I hope you guys didn't know that. Um, but he would have major feuds with the likes of Hercules, Rick Rude, the Macho Man. He even He's actually the one man that ended the Honky Tonk Man's long reign as Intercontinental Champion. Which that is just crazy. Then he would go into a feud with Hulk Hogan and they would fight at WrestleMania 6 to unify the Intercontinental and World Wrestling Federation Championships. Warrior beat Hogan to win the World Wrestling Federation Championship, but then he would retain the Intercontinental Championship at the same time. So then Warrior, after he lost the WWF Championship to Sergeant Slaughter at the Royal Rumble, he would then go on to feud with the Macho Man. He feuded with the Macho Man up until WrestleMania 7. When they had a career-threatening match, Warrior wound up winning. Then the Warrior would leave WWF for a little bit and actually go to WCW for a little while. But instead of Ultimate Warrior, he was just known as The Warrior and reignited his feud with um, Hulk Hogan. Unfortunately, I think, in my opinion, his run in WCW was not that good. Only just for like a few years or so, just a year or so. And then he would come back to the WWF um, in like 93, 94. He would wrestle, he came back at WrestleMania 12, literally obliterating Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And then he would leave shortly thereafter, go back to the independent scene, and Ultimate Warrior wound up retiring. And then he got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2014. And this is where the sad news comes in. He was at Wrestle he was at the Hall of Fame induction, was at WrestleMania 30, was on the Raw after WrestleMania 30, and then and then the next day, April 8th, 2014, Ultimate Warrior wound up passing away at the age of 54. Which that was really sad. They have an Warrior Award named after him. It's just amazing. He even has a book. Um, <clears throat> in my opinion, Ultimate Warrior was one of the true legends of WWF. He was also the man that actually body slammed Andre the Giant. Um, he was one of the true legends, one of the true pioneers in WWF, and he will never be forgotten. And hopefully everyone will get to feel the power of the Ultimate Warrior. That'll do it for this episode of Wrestling Talk. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. If you want to check out Wrestling Talk, the 
the entire 20 episodes in this one. I'll put I'll put in the end cards the entire playlist. But other than that, if you enjoyed it, be sure you hit the like button, leave your comments, and above all else, subscribe. Tap the little bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and game over.